Hi, welcome to the Ultimate Algebra course. This course combines pictorial learning and actual hardcore math in a simplified way to give you the easiest, fastest, concise, and most reliable way to master algebra from the absolute beginning. Please get the full course and much more at ultimatealgebra.com We'll be defining some words in algebra. Unless you are required by your course, it is not necessary to memorize it. Algebraic expressions. In algebra, we try to represent real life statements using numbers and letters. Example, we can represent the statement, I have two books and 20 pens, as 2B plus 20P, where B represents books and P represents pens. This idea of representation is what is called an algebraic expression. Equations show the relationship between two algebraic expressions by the introduction of an equal sign. Example, when we say two books weighs the same as 20 pens, we can write it as 2B equals 20P, where B is for weight of book and P is for weight of pen. In algebra, we refer to the numbers as constants and the letters as variables. This statement is not always true, but we won't go into it in this lesson. So. For 2AB plus 3C, the 2 and 3 are constants, and the A, B, and C are variables. What is a term in algebra? A term in an expression is separated by a plus sign. Example, 2B plus 20P has two terms, the 2B and 20P. Notice they are separated by a plus sign. Also, 3A plus 4 plus 2C has three terms, the 3A, the 4, and the 2C. Notice how they are separated by plus signs. I know you are asking, what about subtracting numbers? This definition is still true because the subtraction of a number can be defined as the addition of a negative number, such that 2 minus x can be written as 2 plus negative x. So here we can still say that the 2 is one term and the minus x is another term and they are separated by a plus sign. With this in mind, we can say that the terms in 2x minus 3b plus c are 2x, negative 3b, and c. We change the minus to plus negative. Hope everything is clear up to this point. Types of terms. Similar or like terms are terms having the exact same variables. These variables must have the same exponents. Remember, we said the variables are simply the letters. Example. When we look at 5x squared and 2x squared, we'll notice that both have the letter x and the x has the same exponent too, so we can say that the terms are similar. 2ab and 4ab are also similar terms because they both have the same variables or letters and those variables have the same exponents. Dissimilar terms are terms which differ in variables or exponents or both. Example. We have 3x squared and 4x cubed. Here, both have the same variable x, but different exponents. One is squared and the other is cubed. Though they have the same variable because they have different exponents, we say they are dissimilar terms. Another example, 2cd and 4mb. Notice they have different letters. One is cd and the other mb, so they are dissimilar terms. One more example, 3ab and 5ac. Now, here we see that they both have the variable a, but one is ab and the other is ac. They are still dissimilar terms. All the letters must be exactly the same. Coefficient of a term. Now let's look at the coefficient of a term. The coefficient of a term is the constant, usually number preceding a term. So far, we've been looking at the variables. Now, let's look at the number. If we look at a term 3x, the coefficient is 3 because 3 is the constant preceding the term. In algebra, it is possible to have a term which consists of only letter. Example, xy. In a case like this, where there are only letters, the coefficient is 1. So, xy is the same as 1xy. Types of expressions. A monomial is an algebraic expression of one term. So when we have a single term like 2a squared, this is just one term and has no plus or minus sign or anything else. A polynomial is an algebraic expression of more than one term. Example, we have 2b plus 3a. 
there is more than one term in this expression, so it's a polynomial. The terms are 2b and the 3a. 2 plus b plus c is also a polynomial. There are three terms, 2, b, and c. A polynomial of two terms is a binomial. Example, for 2b plus 3a, we have exactly two terms, therefore it is a binomial. Also, 5x plus 4y is a binomial because it has two terms. Finally, let's look at trinomials. A polynomial of three terms is a trinomial. Example, 2b plus 6a minus 3a. Here we have three terms and therefore it is a trinomial. Thanks for watching. Encourage us to post more videos by liking and sharing. Also visit ultimatealgebra.com for more exclusive videos and get our free course that will help you build a strong math foundation and pass your next test easily.